Hello again, I am Blunty. Partly this video is for spooking the stream I've got coming because as I record this, we are scant hours away from Pokemon Sword and Shield launching in Australia. Stroke of midnight, I'm going to be playing the game. Very excited about it. Come over to twitch.tv slash bluntmate if you want to hang out and chill out. Uh, my streams are always pretty chill, so it should be a fun time. But also I wanted to talk about the hashtag Game Freak Glide thing that's been uh, trending today. And I did touch on this subject in the very long video I put up the other day, full of uh, all my thoughts and feelings and expectations and reactions and uh, and hopes and dreams and stuff about these games. But part of that video I mentioned, the whole uh, national decks situation where these games don't have every Pokemon possible coded into them. So even if, I mean, Pokemon games, you, you can't always catch every Pokemon in them anyway. You have to trade them in front of the games, but you can't trade in all Pokemon from other games in this because they're not physically not coded into the game. They don't exist in the game code, so they can't exist in the game. So even if you have the Pokemon in another uh, system, and when Pokemon Home launches early next year, be able to trade in Pokemon back and forth and things like that, only Pokemon supported by the game will be actually be able to use in the game. And people are up in arms about this because of a misunderstanding of a translation of an interview that happened at E3 where Junichi Masuda was being interviewed about these games. And this is when it first came to light that not every Pokemon was going to be available to use in these games, even if you had them in other systems. And the whole Game Freak Live thing is based on a misunderstanding of that because the framing of the argument from the people who are getting all up in arms about this is they, they think the Game Freak said, oh, and I kind of misquoted this myself before in my other video the other day, I sort of brushed over it and didn't sort of dig properly into it and, and gave a mistaken impression myself. So we're all at fault for this one or other. But the thing is, uh, they were talking about how it, it was impractical to put every Pokemon in this game because they were, it's too much work to put all the models in and all the animations and all that sort of stuff. And that is true, but it's not the end of the story. It's not the complete story. Let me read you the exact quote from Masuda himself here. Masuda says, there are a couple of different parts to thinking behind it, that being not every Pokemon being in it. But really the biggest reason is just the sheer number of Pokemon, Masuda said. We already have well over 800 Pokemon species and there's going to be more added in these games. The number of Pokemon really hasn't been a bottleneck in the past, but with the franchise now moving to the Nintendo Switch, Masuda says, Game Freak is using the higher fidelity graphics and higher quality animations, which obviously require more resources. And that's the part people have latched onto. It's too much work to put them all in. And then you've got more recently some leaks and, and stuff like going out suggesting that the models and animations being used in Sword and Shield are the exact same ones that they made for the 3DS games, which may or may not be true in a lot of cases. Why would you redo work you've already done? Because we already knew the models they made for the 3DS games were higher resolution than they needed to be for those games anyway. And that partly resulted in one of those games run like crap half the time. Um, but they were future-proofing themselves, so they could use those models. There's no point making one set of models for one game and remaking all those models over again. So they would have used those models as a base. If they're good enough, leave them basically untouched, maybe touch up the textures and stuff and make the high-res textures and just render them internally in a higher resolution. That's how these models and things work. So people latched onto that and go, well, well, they're, they're reusing some of the exact same models, but they, they said we can't have all the Pokemon because it's too much work to make all the models. No, but dude, they lied. But that's not the whole story, idiots. The whole story is about balance. It was too much work. Put all 900 plus Pokemon in there and balance the game properly. That's a lot of work. Balancing each and every possible different matchup and move sets and, and deciding who gets what moves and what moves you're going to lose out. And people are going, well, they've, they've deleted moves from the game. Well, that's about balancing too. That's about balancing the middle. A lot of the moves they took out were moves that were exclusive to just one Pokemon, for example. But let me read you the rest of the quote from Masuda here. We knew at some point we weren't going to be able to indefinitely keep supporting all of the Pokemon. And we just thought that Sword and Shield would probably be a good point to go back and reevaluate what would be the best selection of Pokemon that appeals to the widest audience while keeping into consideration the balance of the battle system. It isn't just going to be an all new Pokemon in the Galar region Pokedex. There's still going to be a lot of favorites that fans will be able to bring over that they've uh, adventured with previously. But yeah, it was pretty much just balancing and getting this optimal selection of Pokemon for the adventure we wanted to provide. So it's a balance that, that quote tells you everything you need. People just haven't latched onto that second part of the quote. That was in the same paragraph. They just latched on the first part, misunderstood what the hell it was talking about and went, oh, Game Freak lied. They're using the, reusing the models. So therefore they lied. No. It was all a very deliberate decision for balancing the game. I'm not saying it's not understandable that people are upset that they can't bring some of their own favorites back into the game. 
I'm one of those people. I've got a, a, a extensive Pokemon collection. I've been playing it for 20 years. I've got a bunch of stuff in Pokemon box sitting there waiting to be used. I was talking about in the big long video as well. Tons of legendaries and shinies and all these kind of exciting Pokemon that I probably won't be able to use at all. They just sort of sit there and wait for a game where we do get the full support of Pokedex, fingers crossed, somewhere in the near future, or at least the not too distant future. So I, I just, the point I'm just driving out here, the point I'm rambling about is it's just unfair to go, oh, they lied. No, they didn't lie. You misunderstood what they were talking about. You assumed. You know what they say about making an ass out of you and me. You you didn't comprehend what they were talking about. You saw someone quoting a quote of a quote of a quote of a quote, and then you just ran with it because it gave you an excuse to be angry and outraged online. If you did five seconds of research and like I did, just Googled where the original quote came from and read the entire article, you would have seen a much more reasonable and sensible and understandable explanation for why this choice was made. So stop it. So I, I don't know what to tell you. This, I, I, I don't even know whether this will change anyone's mind or make anyone who's been raging about this actually stop and think because people who just like to rage about that sort of stuff online just, they just want to be on that that train. They don't want to stop and think. They don't want to be, oh, actually, that is a pretty good explanation. They just latch on to whatever supports their ability to, to be outraged online and just stick with it and reason and logic be damned. Hopefully, at least this has been a little bit of an explainer, a little bit of a clarifier for some of you out there who didn't quite grasp what the hell everyone was so mad about. Now, you know, they really uh, shouldn't be that mad because the, 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 what they're latching on to is just entirely the wrong point, basically. So, Hopefully this has been useful or interesting. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you on the live stream again, twitch.tv slash bluntnate, same as my Twitter channel and everything. Come hang out, chill out. I'm not going to be rushing through the game. So if you're too worried about sort of mid to late game spoilers, don't worry about it. We're going to take our time, enjoy ourselves, have a lot more talk about uh, the Pokemon expectations, hopes and expirations. And uh, we can talk more about the controversy. You've got some specific questions. If you see this video on time, you get to the live stream on time, feel free to pop in. Um, we only have one rule on the stream and that's don't be a dick. So as long as you come in with a modicum of respect and you're willing to have a decent chat about this stuff instead of just going, ah, game for guide, then I'm more than happy to talk this through with you. Till then, thanks for watching. I'm Lottie and I'll catch you next time.